<coughs> hey, so I've decided to do a documentary. Let me just turn this phone down slightly. So I've decided to do a documentary on Hasa, and if you don't know what Hasa is, I wrote a short blurb here for you. Let's see. Uh, I was just looking for it. Okay, I found it. Okay, so what is Hasa, and what is a Hasa property? What is HASA? HASA stands for the HIV AIDS Services Administration. It is a program-wide, citywide, NYC government benefit program that covers some percent of their monthly rent. The usual rent covered rate is between 50 to 100 percent, making HASA tenants desirable when it comes to ensuring that all tenants pay equal rent on time. So. Issue number two of HASA is discrimination. So gay men and substance abuse addicts get a bad rep when it comes to their delinquency uh, on rent. Um, and uh, their delinquency um, essentially ensures that a lot of people will deny them um, the right to be a tenant in that apartment complex because they automatically assume this person won't be able to pay the bill. But by simply joining these programs, the um, people get access to psychological counseling and more importantly, job training. So like, um, there's absolutely no reason why the landlord should assume there's not going to be a future income because there will be. Um, and the program gives them that little, little bit of like boost to get to where the lower, uh, lower middle income class is um, from like a skill set professional standpoint. So, um, I, I think, um, uh, I'm part of the program and I'm not, um, I'm not like ashamed to be on a program. Um, like it's really helped uh, myself and my mom out. So I don't know. Um, I, I think it's amazing and like r really a good thing actually that programs like these exist. And uh, I, I know a lot of people rely on government benefits too much and that's not okay because you can't drain all the resources for those where it should be targeted towards. So there's a proper place to put the benefits and it's not in everyone's hands. So like 100% of people should not have 100% of benefits. Does that not make sense? <clears throat> um, yeah, that's how you create a society that's all about taking and never about giving. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, I think it's a great program. Um, it has a lot of issues it needs to work out. Um, like the issue with the case managers, it is impossible to get them on the phone. It is impossible to meet them in person. Um, and they have one day a week where there's a field visit. It's usually Wednesday. And um, sometimes they'll come over to your house and like you have a German Shepherd and you know the dog's gonna bark and they, and they don't come on time. And then when they do come, they don't give you a text beforehand and then the dog goes talking crazy like bouncing at the door and you gotta lock it up real quick hoping that it doesn't attack your fucking caseworker so yeah and there's that like a lot of them are inept um it, it is a lot of minorities working at the program but that's great because like it encourages um more um development among not not just like black people don't, don't think that um uh, among minorities um i'll just say that <clears throat>